Hi, we're going to have three worked examples for dimensional analysis. We're going to start by converting 12 meters per second to miles per hour. To do this, we first write 12 meters over seconds. Now, to make life easy for me, I will just draw a big long line there. So I've got plenty of room to do my conversions. Um, I can either convert meters first or seconds first. And I'm going to go with the distance unit, meters. Now the trouble is, I've got meters, and I'm trying to go to miles, and I have no equivalency for meters to miles. So I'm going to have to go from meters to kilometers, and then from kilometers to miles. So I have a game plan. So uh, remember, kilometers stands for 10 to the third meters. So 1 kilometer equals 1 times 10 to the third meters. So I can put meters here. 10 to the third or 1,000. And I'm going to put kilometers up here. Then I'm going to go from kilometers to miles. And that will take care of my distance units. Next I'm going to work with my time units. Seconds is in the bottom denominator, so I'm going to put it in the top. We'll go from seconds to minutes and then from minutes to hours. All right, I'm going to fill in all my um, equivalency statements. So one kilometer is at 1,000 meters. One mile is 1.609 kilometers. I expect you to know 60 seconds equals one minute. I expect you to know 60 minutes equals one hour. I'm going to double check, and make sure that I didn't make any silly mistakes. Meters cancels with meters kilometers with kilometers, seconds with seconds, minutes with minutes. I'm left with miles in the numerator and hours in the denominator, which is what I want to have, so I'm in good shape. I'm going to go ahead and write it all out longhand to see, see where it's coming from. So I have the numerator, 12 times 1 times 1 times 60 times 60. And the denominator, I have, this is an implied one right here, so 1 times 1,000 times 1.609 times 1 times 1. Plug it all into my handy calculator, and in the numerator, I get 43,200. In the denominator, I get 1,609. Plug it in and do that division, and I get 26. 0.849 miles over hours. In physics, we don't use significant digits that much, except in labs. But what I do like to see is have you round to two decimal places. So I'm going to round that to two decimal places. So that's going to round up. So I'm going to get 26.85. I'm going to rewrite miles per hour to its more conventional format, so miles per hour. And that gives me my answer right there. Let's go on to the next one. We're going to convert 10 yards to meters. So I need to go start with 10 yards over 1. I'm going to look at the long line here. I'm going to use these deadlines here instead of time signs because I'm lazy at writing all that stuff. Now the trouble is I don't really have a conversion of yards to meters. So I'm going to have to look at what I do have. Well, I have inches to centimeters, so I'm going to put yards to inches, and I'm going to go from centimeters to meters. So I kind of have a game plan right here. So let's start by putting yards to inches. 36 inches equals 1 yard. Um, and then I said we're going to go... Whoops, got that backwards. Let's try that again. Let's just put the units in. So we've got yards in the denominator. I'm going to go to inches in the numerator. Then to get rid of the inches, I'm going to put inches in the denominator and centimeters in the numerator. And then I'm going to go from centimeters to meters. Remembering this relationship here, there's 100 centimeters in 1 meter. So now I'll go back over here. We've got 36 inches in 1 yard. I expect you to know that. You could have gone from yards to feet to inches if you wanted to, too. 
And then um, centimeters, we have 2.54 centimeters and one inch. Got that from this. And then from, we're going to go with just 100 centimeters and one meter. Double check to make sure everything is right. Yards cancels with yards. Inches with inches. Centimeters with centimeters. And I need meters standing, which is what I want. So now I'm going to um, write out the math longhand just so you see where it's coming from. 10 times 36 times 2.54 times 1 in the numerator. In the denominator, I have 1 times 1 times 1 times 100. Plugging all that into my handy calculator, I get 914.4 divided by 100, which equals 9.144, and that's meters. Again, we're going to worry about just these two decimal places. This rounds down. So my correct answer is 9.14 meters. Let's look at our third case. We're going to convert 65 miles per hour to meters per second. So I'll start out with what I've got, 65 miles over hours. And I recommend that you write out miles. If you leave it as an M, you're going to get confused between miles and meters. So I write it out. and then in the long line, start doing my conversions. I can go from miles to kilometers, and I can go from kilometers to meters, and then I'm going to worry about my hour units, so I can go from hours to minutes, and from minutes to seconds. Fill in all my equivalency statements, so 1.609 kilometers is over one mile, and I have uh, 1,000 meters over one kilometer. I have 60 minutes in one hour, one hour, and 60 seconds in one minute. Rewriting it so you can see where it's coming from. It's 65 times 1.609 times 1,000 times one times 1. Denominator, this is inferred, so 1 times 1 times 1 times 60 times 60. I don't need all this extra line, I'm going to erase it. And that gives me, I'm plugging it into my handy calculator, 104585 divided by 3600 which again, plugging into my calculator, reduces to 29.0514 meters per second. I'm going to look at those last two digits, and um, the one rounds down to five, so my correct answer is 29.05 meters per second. There you go, three worked examples. Thank you for your time.